there and welcome to Lifestyle with Chinese Versatile. Today is day 10 of Vlogmas and I am feeling very excited, super excited because I'm like to do this challenge and I'm glad I have made it this far. And if this is your first time of stopping by, I say very big welcome, but do me a favor, be sure to watch this video into three minutes so that you are sure that this is the channel you would like to connect with. And of course, if you watched it onto three minutes, you just want to click the subscribe button, okay? Don't waste time, don't dull there. And if this is your second, third, fourth, millionth time of coming on here, I welcome you. You are the real MVP. So thank you for always coming back. The world over, today being the 10th of December, is known to be the Human Rights Day, so you heard me. So um, the United Nations have declared every 10th of December to be the Human Rights Day. And today, in this regard, I would really like for us to remind ourselves what these human rights are. Because we hear a lot about human rights, human rights. Did you know that there are about 30 articles of the human rights that have been identified? Did you know that one way or the other, you might have been infringing on someone's rights? Well, here is the time for us to remind ourselves and as well, um, caution ourselves so that going forward, we may, if we have been infringing on someone's rights, we might retract and be a lot more conscious about it. How about that? So that's what today's um, video is going to be about. So without further ado, I will be giving you a simplified version of the 30 articles of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Are you ready? Because I am. All right, so number one, we are all born free and equal. That's right. So even if you are in a first world country, second world country, third world country, whatever country you are in, we are all born free and equal. Number two, do not discriminate. Have you been discriminating in any way, probably by race, by gender, by what you have, influence, affluence, whatsoever? Do not discriminate. Come on. Three, right to life. Four, no slavery. Five, no torture. Does it make sense? Like all these housewives who maltreat their house helps, Come on, you're torturing them. You're infringing on someone's human rights. Okay, next one, you have rights no matter where you go, period. <laughs> next one, we are all equal before the law. No one is above the law, okay? Your human rights are protected by law. That's the next one, okay? And next, no unfair detainment. Oh my God, could I increase this volume any louder? The Nigerian police do this a lot. If you don't know your law, if you don't know your rights, they will definitely trample on it anyhow. Uh-uh, no unfair detainment whatsoever. Now you know this, so demand for your rights. The right to trial. You got that. You have a right to trial. And next, we are always innocent until proven guilty. Next one, right to privacy. Like, hello, parents. Well, I don't want to increase this volume any louder. Yes, but there's really a right to privacy. Even as a man and his wife, you know, as a man to his wife, a woman to her husband, there is still right to privacy. Moving on. Freedom to move. Don't hold anyone back. And next one, right to seek a safe place to leave. Next one, right to a nationality. Hey, right to a nationality. Are you sure I will not just become what country would that like to be a national of? I'm thinking, give me some time to think about that one. <laughs> All right. Right to marriage and family is the next one. Right to own your own things. How about that? Okay, so freedom of thoughts is the next right, next human right. Moving on, freedom of expression. Thank God for YouTube. It allows us to express ourselves however, whenever we want. <laughs> Next one, the right to public assembly. Mm, the right to public assembly. And recently we tried to do some public gathering and all of that in the name of protests and the Nigerian government. You know, let me not go there. Let me not go there. Right to democracy. The next one, social security. Another one, workers' rights. So yeah, so you employ somebody to work for you. Of course, they have got rights. Don't infringe on their rights, okay? Next is right to play. Oh my God. Oh my God. I have been guilty here. I mean, one way or the other, I have been because, you know, when my children play and they're like, stop playing. I know I've said that a couple of times. Oh my God. I've been infringing on their rights. Oh, now I know. I'm sure you do too. So allow them to play. Allow them. Give them that freedom. It is their human right for them to exercise. Don't take it away from anybody. Next, right to food and shelter for all. 
Next one, right to education. So, of course, we know there are formal and informal education, but whichever one an individual is comfortable with, I think you should give them that. All right, so it says right to education. It didn't state either formal or informal. Depends on what someone has a desire for that you can give to the person. The next one, right to copyrights. And next, free and fair world. Or do I say the other way? Fair and free world. And the next one, right to responsibility. And the last but not the least, no one can take away your human rights. No one can take away your human rights if you know your human rights. Okay, but if you do not know your human rights, I'm sorry, it will not only be taken away, it will be trampled upon, it will be ignored, you also will be ignored. So, now that we've known this, this is like a short video I want to do for today, and just to remind us about what our rights are, what our human rights are, you do not want to, you know, allow yourself to be trampled on ever again. So with this, I say, love and lights. Namaste. Have a blessed day. See you on day 11.